Welcome to one of my videos. This video is VMware Converter. If you have a, an existing physical server, you may get a server already virtualized that's on the same platform. What you need to do is convert that physical format to a virtual something that vCenter can support. This is the vCenter converter tool that I can do. It's a free download from VMware. Converter is a very simple tool that is very powerful that it gives you a lot of control and automatically taking over assets and rolling into the vCenter environment a kind of neat tool really you can convert a physical machine, a VMware virtual machines, Microsoft virtual machines powered on machine, I am going to remotely install this feature on that powered on machine facilitate the conversion this is fairly nice because in the case I have my domain controller I can send an agent out to the domain controller I can complete the conversion and when the conversion is complete I power down the physical box from the logical virtual machine and I am complete VMware infrastructure virtual machine I can do the same thing with a virtual machine or even a workstation or a Hyper-V server if I want. Let's use the Powered On. I want to convert this Powered On machine to a virtual machine. I'm going to put the IP address of my host and the username and password and then I'm going to click Next. This will go out and try and identify that the machine if it's out there the agent needs to be temporarily installed on that remote source computer. I also have an option whether I want to uninstall the files when the import succeeds. You probably would like to do this, I think if you have a domain controller or an exchange server, whatever server you're converting into a vCenter 5. What we want to do is remotely send my agents and I want the agents to facilitate the conversion when the conversion is done then I would want those agents off that original computer now if you played with ghost before or image deployment before this is similar and this just goes into a progress bar in a minute first it actually you can change the hard drive size it's going to go into my data store It's possible to, for me to set up tasks so that they can complete by providing information about the job. This is going to take between one hour, three minutes. I'm back on my vCenter, and if you look at my ESXi 1.jade, that is the host, what's actually hosting the Windows 2008 server. I'm going to power on the machine now. Show you that it works. This is our Windows 2008 server. We deployed to the um, AXSI host. Okay, I'm going to close it down now. This is how to convert a physical machine to a virtual machine. I'd like to thank you for watching another one of my videos. 